All right, guys, welcome back. We've got some fun war video for you today. We're going to start off on path one. APOC is going to absolutely put in a ton of work this war. So we're going to start off against this Korg. So we play Korg very smart. The, uh, remember, uh, light attacks are, going to rem are not going to take Thorns damage. I did put on a regen boost. I want to make sure I remove all of his like rock stacks before I can go ahead and um, before I really want to start parrying. And what I'm doing here is I'm building up to a special two. I'm going to wait until the shield is down. Four, three, two, one. It's down. Drop the special two. We've got Cable on the team. So we get the concussion and the degen right away. This one, if we're close to him, he's going to get a regen. If we're far away, they fall off. There we have a power back boost. We're going to go straight into a special one. Uh, and we're going to remove the rock stacks again right into a special one. And that is going to end the fight. So really, I really, that was really clean. That's about as clean as I could do it. Barely lost any health against Quark. Ant-Man, I was actually, he's a global defender. So I was a little worried about the unsteady. He actually puts an unsteady on himself. Uh, so I wanted to be extra careful on this one. The, the main thing about getting debuffs on with Ant-Man we're going to be when he actually throws a special. But what we're going to do is we're, we're going to do the same thing here uh, where we're going to parry heavy and we're going to get up to a special too. And with the power back boost and how much damage we're doing, there's also there's masochism on this node, which we're completely bypassing with Apocalypse. And here I've just kept him to not throwing a special. We throw a special too. I realize how much damage the special two has done. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I can just clear this with a special one. So I, I actually thought about it for a split second there, then decided, okay, we're going for a full combo into a special one. And even though we pushed him three bars of power, he's toast. If he doesn't throw a special, there's really nothing to worry about. And then Man Thing, also with Masochism, we've already done this fight a few times this season. Um, strike counter. Uh, again, and masochism man thing here on node 20 and I do the same thing this one I always like to start with a power advanced power boost so I can get to the special two early if I get to the special two early I can get the concussion uh, less chances for uh, like poisons and all that fun stuff so we're gonna go special two power back boost try and go immediately bait the beta special one then go into uh, heavy into our special one. Now we've got all four debuffs on. And then we're just going to reapply. We're going to bait that special one. Then we're just going to reapply the debuffs. And then go for a combo into a special one. And again, APOC absolutely shredding fights. And we have we still have three more fights with him this war. It's going to be good. Next, we're on path three. So obviously this is Gallon. If he's not banned, we're going to take him in. Gallon against Doc Ock here. Really nothing to worry about here. Uh, it's all uh, a power burn. If he has an armor up, Doc Ock has an armor up. When you hit into him, we're immune to it. Uh, so there he gets his armor up. It doesn't really matter. All it's going to do is fuel our, uh, our buffs here. Go ahead. One more parry. Heavy. <laughs> drop the unblockable special one and boom you're dead 134,000 direct damage next is Mysterio we're immune to the power burn that he puts on his special two and again similar thing here uh, he doesn't really have the armor up there's really nothing to, to worry about on this one uh, but it's just a, it's just Mysterio he can be tricky in general but not for not for Gallon not on this node that's for sure so there, I uh, go ahead and drop the special one. Takes about three quarters of him or two thirds of him. There's 40% remaining. So we just got to do a few more medium light mediums. Build up to another harvest. There, that, that heavy was too early. So he throws that special too, but I'm immune to the power burn. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, I can still miss the attacks. So I wait for that to go down. Drop another heavy. Drop the unblockable special two, and goodbye, Mysterio. 
He's done. Next up, uh, we've got the Mini on the left side, node 24. We got Gallon against Omega Sentinel. We've also done this fight a bunch of times this season. It's Buffet. Because we're immune to nullify, our buffs can't be nullified. We can't trigger Buffet. She can't trigger the regen. Then she cannot go unblockable. So really not much to worry about here. We bait out the special one. We like to go our medium light mediums. Heavy here. Trigger the harvest. Almost get her down. She's got like 2% remaining. We'll go one more parry combo and she's done super fast. Now... We've got some more APOC action. Path 1, we've got a Hulkling on this regen node. So if he regens too many times, he's going to go unblockable. And if you dash back twice in a row, you're also going to trigger healing. Plus, he has his healing when you hit into him. We'd start with a uh, advanced power boost again, which is what I love to do with Apocalypse. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to parry heavy at the beginning, and then we're going to go into... Um, I trigger the indestructible, and then once the indestructible is down, then we go ahead and drop the special two. We take out almost half his health right there. Go right with the power back boost on again, right into a special one. Now, it did trigger the uh, invulnerability boost there, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. You've got to keep an eye on that as well. Less chance of it proccing with the um, concussion on. There, he's got a special one. We're just going to go ahead and block it. Even if he's got a bit of regen, we do have some points in despair. So we are reversing, lowering the regen rate based on how many debuffs we have on him. And we get him down. Really nice fight again with Apocalypse. Now, I skipped the next fight on node uh, 40. I let Ken come in, teammate. He's the Quake Machine. He went in and quaked... Um, Anti-Venom, which is the fight I got screwed up on uh, in the previous war. And then he was actually, he was going to quake uh, this thing also, but I beat him to it and I decided to go in with uh, Apocalypse. It ended up probably costing me some potions, but that's okay. We want to get some fights in for you. We got Strike Counter Block Penetration uh, here with uh, Thing. Uh, and uh, also if we dash back a couple times, we'll trigger uh, a regen. Same idea, we'll go ahead, grab our special two. Actually, more perfect timing pushes him right to 15 rock stacks. Then if we can go ahead and continue our parry heavies. Only issue with the parry heavies when I go up to that first special two is that I've given him a whole bunch of furious. His block penetration from the straight counter is pretty high. So I am going to take quite a bit of uh, chip damage here on this one. I'm not going to get clipped, but I'm just going to take it from... Uh, from the parries, but then I can go ahead, go into the parry heavy game, and I can pretty much keep up, keep well, keep his rock stacks down because we've got the bleeds on on the heavy, which will lower his uh, rock stacks. So then we can just go ahead with uh, again parry heavies, keep up the qu uh, quadruple debuff at this point, and then just drop some special ones, and he will go down. So, again, Apocalypse putting in his worth. I know I did not, I have not gone back into Gauntlet. I need to make sure that uh, Apox charges are, uh, like his persistent charges and um, his immunities are carrying over with every fight. Until I see that, I am not going back into Gauntlet. But, still loving Apocalypse. He will be my guy when I go back into Gauntlet, that's for sure. So, down goes a thing. Uh, now we go, uh, we actually, okay, fine. We're going to do the boss circle fight here. Then we're going to go back to path three in section two. So we've got this spider ham, combat deja vu and conflictor. So, um, I go ahead and I go, I don't want to do the same attack too many times in a row because that's going to give him prowess. Uh, so you can see, I do try to do like medium, light mediums followed by heavies and let him throw his special. He is a global defender, so he puts that unsteady on me. He also puts a taunt on me. Now I also have a power sting on me. So I'm very conscious of where the power sting and the taunt are. Wait for them to go down, and that and that's going to be my opening. Wait, let him throw another special. Puts, a, puts the unsteady on me. I have a 100% chance to glance. I got a taunt on me. I don't want that, so I am playing it a little slow here. I go with the taunt, but it's fine. 
But I get I made sure the unsteady debuff is not on me before I throw that special two. I am feeling really good about this at this point. I have the um, I don't have to worry about conflictor. Um, I have the concussion on me on on him, so I I feel pretty confident about this. Again, every time he throws that special one, I just want to make sure that uh, the unsteady and the taunt and the power sting are not on when I throw my specials. I don't want. Uh, you know, unintentional, like, power sting damage back onto me. So I can see there, I have, like, a porker popper on me. I've got an unsteady on me, so I'm going to back off. going to go ahead, parry heavy. I'm not going to throw any specials. Then I'll go there, hit into a special one, because I'm free of the debuffs. And there, one more hit, and we get down spider ham. Really happy with how conscious we were of the no, like, the debuffs on us at all times during that fight next small mistake just makes for a longer fight i went with claire against the slopped armor thorns sam wilson captain america sam wilson here but i forgot that in his kit that if you nullify his uh armor ups they will reapply basically as passive armors there i try to go for the buff immunity thinking i'm gonna get the be able to um bypass the auto block it does not work and at that point i got really lucky that he didn't hit into me and i was nervous that uh that's not gonna that i'm not gonna be able to do any specials so i am gonna stay uh i'm only gonna drop special threes from here on out i'm gonna try some parry heavies i'm just gonna keep baiting his special one the entire time i do not want to block a special two i feel like that's just gonna be Sometimes with Sam Wilson, that special two hits so hard on that special two uh, through the block. So I am just going to continuously stick very carefully, strategically. I'm going to only throw special threes. I'll throw some heavies. I'll get some debuffs on him. But I am not going to throw another special because at this point, I cannot remove his armor ups. Plus, I have to stay in the bleed phase, the entire, like the bleed immune phase, the entire fight. Uh, because I will be taking um, bleed damage because of the armor ups every single time I hit him. Uh, so I don't want to go into poison or incinerate. I am just going to stay in, in this uh, mode the entire fight. And we're just going to play it safe and we're going to get through it clean. And I'm happy with the uh, result. So that's okay. We're going to throw another special three. Just made this fight a little bit longer, but again, it's you know what? Better safe than sound. And, uh, you know, that that's fine with me. I'll, I'll take it take it slow. Make sure it's easy. I can bait his special ones all day long. But you can see it just, it just made for a slower fight. And then, uh, lastly, we're going to have our uh, good buddy, Doc Ock, uh, fighting Sorcerer Supreme. What we have done, the Sorcerer Supreme fight... Um, Already, we did it last war for the first time, and it went really smooth. This one is going to be a little bit trickier, and, you know, a little bit of thinking on our toes to make sure that uh, we do it correctly. Now, the main thing you have to realize, if you want the power lock to apply, you cannot have the heel block on. The heel block is going to apply on the first parry. Then after the parry, because she's got the automatic power gain, then it 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 um, the power drain uh, picks up. But what happens here is that she uh, I don't get a parry off in time. Um, I, it doesn't work, and she gets a special. Now that she's got a special, every time she throws a special, I am getting willpower healing from the slow and the unsteady, but because of the unsteady, I'm nervous that I'm not going to be able to get back into my parry heavy game. And I spend a while here trying to get back into my parry heavy game where I can actually keep her below power because it, it, um, she is getting, she's going to be hitting harder every time she crosses a bar of power. And at this point, she just keeps getting power here. And I have to make sure, one, that if I block uh, at the wrong time, I'm going to put a heal block on. And if I put the heal block on and I don't get rid of it, I'm not going to be able to apply. Again, you can see the power drain or power lock is on her. And I need that to apply 
because I, I do not want to get her to a special three. I did not put on an invulnerability boost on this one. So I am a little bit nervous at this point that I need to make sure that I can get back into my parry heavy game. There even we go for a special two, but we don't have the we didn't have all our charges on the top left at 100. So it did not give us the triple debuff with the extended duration. But here again, we go for the hits in, we reapply the power drain, and now we're going to go ahead and try really hard if we can get back into our parry heavy rotation. And now we're back into it. Took us a little while there. See, again, I missed one. So I quickly go and reapply with the special one and then try really hard here. We do get it just off in the nick of time and we go back into the parry heavy game. It can be really tricky sometimes. I'm really happy that I kept calm readjusted made sure i could get back into the right rotation and we do finish this fight off fairly uh easily but there we go with some some tricky maneuvers some nice gameplay i was really happy with this war and we came out with the win see you in the next one guys bye bye